Wow, man, Buster, that cat was violent. He didn't like people one little bit. Message received, buddy. I'll keep my distance. Jeff, he took this cat when Buster was a little kitten. Problem was that Jeff's apartment was also his photographic studio. This guy makes a living taking pictures of other people. That depends on them feeling at home, feeling comfortable in their own skin. You can't feel comfortable in your own skin when you're worried about your skin getting ripped up by a cat. Jessie was sick of being beat up. She's Jeff's assistant, also his friend, and she was sick of it. She was sick of getting lit up by his cat. I believe if you see a cat as being a demon, they're gonna see you as being a demon. The challenge is in this space. First of all, you had Buster, a very sensitive cat. He also felt confined in a very small space, and it was a loft type of space. There weren't rooms to go into, and there was no catification in this house at all. Nothing said cats live here. Since Jackson's last visit, things have been going really well. A lot of people have come through the house, a lot of different friends, and my cat sitter, and Buster has been great. He hasn't been aggressive with them. He's been friendly, he's been curious. My friends have gone from Jeff and his crazy cat to, hey, Buster's cool, we like him. Creating a cat super highway in Jeff's space was job number one. I wanted Buster to be able to survey his domain and say, that's right, those humans and that couch and that bed, they all belong to me. I don't have to be on them in order to own them. I get to do that from a distance. Safe ownership, that leads to safe interactions. I was worried that it was gonna be always me and him against the world. I was gonna be the only one that ever experienced what a terrific little guy he is. Jessie had to observe Buster from a neutral perspective. She had to do it from a calm, centered place. That took a while. That wasn't the easiest thing. Good boy! Yeah. One of the ways to change the perception of Buster was through photography. I wanted Jeff to take nice pictures, show the world how sweet he could be. And then to cap it off, I had other people come on into the house, friends and clients, and they took pictures of Buster as well. The way Jackson said, have your friends interact with Buster the same way you do. So that included taking pictures and giving him treats and hanging out with him. And it said, you know, these people are kind of like Jeff or whatever name he has for me in his language. Thanks to Jackson and everybody, this is just such a cool place to be now where, where you know people are experiencing the best of Buster. I have a cool studio cat. I don't have a crazy cat from hell. 